ages, it has shaped the world we live in. By moving mountains and shaping hard rock, it has no form or size. It is hardly ever heard. Yet it makes its presence felt every single day. From aiding us on our journey to soothing us when we are weary. From bringing hope to parched lands to bringing life in every breath we take. The wind, an invisible but powerful force of nature, has brought with it many blessings. Hope to the ignorant, solace to the suffering, power to the downtrodden. This strong but silent element of nature was Dr. H. M. Patel. And we are truly blessed that it blew our way. Dr. H. M. Patel made a telling contribution to our nation even before it existed in its present form. Through his role as Partition Secretary, Dr. Patel contributed towards the freedom we enjoy today. Serving in various capacities in the government, Dr. H. M. Patel helped in ushering harmony, prosperity and security in our lives. His determination and drive to bring about a positive change in the country's fortune have earned him a place among the great Indians of the past century. I joined the government in 1954 in the Ministry of Finance, where he soon came as the Principal Finance Secretary. Before that, as everybody knows, he was the Defence Secretary. During the partition, he had done a lot of uh, work of a very outstanding nature, particularly in settling the property rights between Pakistan and India. And then in the government, he from there, of course, he left that, and then he came back as finance minister, member of the parliament and all. The wind that transformed many a life throughout the nation then blew to transform a land where battles were being fought against poverty, illiteracy, and diseases. This land was Vallabh Vidyanagar and Dr. H. M. Patel, or H. M. as he was fondly known, settled down in this land after retirement and made it his Karma Bhumi. Every minute of his life thereafter was devoted towards creating and sustaining institutions that would wage his battle against the evils of society. On account of his education in some of the finest institutions in the world, as well as his vast experience at different levels of government, H.M. was well aware of the role education played in influencing the progress of people. When he took over charges of Charita Vidya Mandar, there were only three colleges. He worked more than 32 years on this complex. He, he took an uh, initiative to establish Pharmacy College, Degree Diploma, College of Music and Dance, Tried for Fine Arts, and several other such institutes on the campus of Charutha Vidya Mandar and uh, Valla Vidya Nagar. Today, we have more than 37 institutes. H.M. Patel actually contributed a lot for this complex. And he had made name of this uh, Charutha Vidya Mandar on national level. Initially, in 1961-62, he joined us as an advisor and from 62-63 till his demise, he presided over the mandal. Our students who have studied here, majority of them, after graduation, they think of going abroad. That is the mindset has been made because of this school. It was H.M. who could see that English was going to be necessary not only for the immediate future, but in long term future. And whatever we realize today, he had realized in those days, that was why he established this institute. Today, when the government of Gujarat has realized the importance of English, it is this institute which he created that is supporting
the effort to implement the corrected policy. And in that sense, I think we are paying an humble tribute to the visionary spirit of Dr. S.M. Patel. A workaholic to the core, H.M. always emphasized the importance of shram and sahas, which he believed were integral to the success of any society. Every Gramo Dharmandal ne installation grant api ke vakat ek factory thi vidya nagar ni. Sahib ek ayu ke bije char factory na kho, ele employment generate thi. Tad upran Gramo Dharmandal ne printing press kariu. Biju Gramo Dharmandal ne petrol pump ek establish kariu. Itle av day av hi kari vai thi Gramo Dharmandal ne employment generate kari ne HM Patel nu amok khas pradhan. Dr. Patel was very anxious that the purpose of establishing the university, rural university, should be properly fulfilled, whereby the industries and the trade should create an employment for the boys and girls coming out of the college. So with that vision in his mind, he had invited us and others also to put up the plant. And uh, naturally, his sincerity of purpose, his status, everything inspired tremendous confidence amongst us to come down over here and establish the plant. I can say that a uh, lot of uh, engineers from our company have gone to America. This is one of the citation. So many people have gone to America that we can start two of our similar companies in America by employing the ex-employees of Helicon. You have to say that you have to be able 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 to be सामान्य मानस ने तो मलेद नहीं, हमारा जीवी। एक्साइड खातो तो यह मो तमाकू जैसे खेडूत पकोवे, ये खेडूते पुत्रे लाइसेंस ले ऊपर तो, इल्ला हाँ ये लाइसेंस ले वाणी प्रथा जो खेडूत नहीं थी, ये हमना कर नौ कर दोगी। एक एक मीटिंग में आज रब आज रे अब जा, कोई भी हमारी बॉडी मीटिंग में हम तो न अरे क्या एक मीटिंग अटेंड करी है यार धोतों को जो ओवरड्यू था ना गर्म से जाए जरूरत है था यूज क्या मैंने कारण आप आया हूँ इलेक्ट्रिक बिजी चौकसे है जी अरे निस्वार्थ हम कोई डॉट पड़ी होना थी हमने नहीं नहीं लेते हमारी बैंक में हमने निस्वार्थ भावे सेवा करता थे ये मानस खूब दीर्� तारे ऑक्टूबर में फर्स्ट टाइम दाखल करेंगे। एक ते व्यापारियों ने खूब विरोध करे लो। तो एचएम पटेल साहबे स्वीकारियों के ऑक्टूबर नगर पंचायत माटे आवकनु साधन जरूरी चे विकास माटे। अभी एक अम्मे स्पष्ट लागनी थी, अने कायदा ने खूब माना अपना रखा। एचएम पटेल साहब ओगनी सौ अठावन माही पसवाद करवा गया। खूब सरकार आप लोग सरकार के ये रहते कि तमें आए सेवन क्लास अने लाइब्रेरी चलाओ चो साथे बालों को नहीं प्रवृत्ति चलाओ इले चारों तरफ विद्या मंडल ने जो बाल मंदिर तो इम्ना कर्मचारियों इम्ना साधनों बद्दा साथ अम्म महिला मंडल में आप अने होस्टेल इम्ने आप अम्ने दौड़ एक कर जमीन आप Dr. H. M. Patel embarked on one of the most difficult journeys of his life to set up a world-class health facility to serve the poorest of the poor, not only in Charutar, but the whole of Gujarat. Our founder chairman came to Vallabh Vidyanagar in 1959 at the request of Bhai Kaka to help him build up a rural university, the Sardar Patel University. He spent years setting up various faculty and towards the end of the 70s he became concerned about the fact that there was one faculty that had still not been established and that was medicine. He was not deterred either by his age and he had tremendous faith in people and the goodwill of people in this area. One by one institutions came up starting with the School of Nursing, 
leading to a 130 bed hospital, then the medical college and finally the hospital was expanded to meet the requirements of the college. In his mind, it was not just to be a hospital to serve the college, but a hospital which would reach out to the community and provide quality health care to the poorest in our villages. HM was convinced that his vision would never be fulfilled without proper infrastructure facilities. The chief among them being a constant supply of power. for the nurses, you know, group. And I said, HM, you are going to spend your time looking for... He said, yes, and you have to join me and help me because everything is important. First of all, when I came, I was a good person. Then, I said, I said, what do you do in ICS? But it was very beautiful. It was very beautiful. It was very beautiful. People had to tell me that it was our own. It was our own. The, the one thing that all of us can learn, there is no circumstance in life, however adverse, which you cannot turn to your advantage and to the advantage of the people around you, if you are so determined. You would have joined a lot of, say, commercial institutions like Tata, Birla and others. Instead, he came for society in Vidyanagar and for this region. My father, was known as HM to most of his friends. And I'm reminded of his colleague Madhu Dandavate, who one day said, do you know what HM stands for? And I said, yes, my father. He says, no. What it stands for, in my opinion, is the H is for his humaneness and the M for modesty. And I think these two words, in fact, describe the man. He really did have a very full life. He never spoke of it himself. One can only get to know about it in writings or listening to people. With his every breath, Dr. H. M. Patel kept the flames in our soul burning. He might not be here in person today, but his presence can be felt all around us. In the trees of his campuses, in the corridors of his creations, in the fields of his homeland, and above all, in the hearts of his people. He is, he is not <laughs> absent among us. He is always with us.